Well, here I am, guys. Um, a lovely little spot again here in the Napier Hot Bay area. Um, it's just called the Waitangi National Park. It's a reserve um, where people can go and do the things and sports and windsurfing and all that type of stuff and jet boating and also collect some um, seafood, etc. So here we are, lovely day. I'm just taking a little bit of time out, short one today, and then um, yeah, we'll. Um, See how things go from here. As you can see, um, we've got the estuary just over here to our right hand side, which connects with um, the Tukituki River. Obviously, salt water and fresh water that you can actually fish this estuary here without actually having a license. So let's have a little bit of a wander in and see see what's happening. Normally you'll find um, guys up here doing a little bit of um, surf casting, trying to catch fish off the surf itself. Um, so we'll we'll head over there and we'll see if anybody's caught anything. If we can get over that is because a lot of the time you get a little bit landlocked here because of um, the water and I'm walking and I don't have a vehicle to get over there to get over the water, so I'm not getting feet wet today. But anyway, let's have a bit of a wander in and see what there is. A little bit of um, Maori folklore here, and traditions. Um, Kalanui Jara, the journey of the sun. Um, it's Maori, Maori beliefs and legends. And, um, yeah. Gonna go with it. That's who we are, that's what we believe, so let's do it guys. Atia Arangi, the Star Compass. I don't know anything about it, but obviously there's got to be lots and lots of significance there um, as far as the Maori are concerned. Okay, that's how, we, how they believe, and I'm, I'm with it because uh, we, our belief is not the only one that we have in the world today. So um, obviously the star has something to do with this that we see in front of us now. Let's go and have a bit of a wander around. See what's going to stop. Beautiful ocean out, out there today. A little bit of a breeze, so you got a little bit of a lump on the ocean, but my god, it's absolutely beautiful. We'll just pan back round and you'll be able to see in the distance there cliffs themselves on the very very point the very very pinnacle way down on the end it's called Kate Kin kidnappers it's to do with Captain Cook and when his boy got kidnapped now on Kate kidnappers there's also a Gannett colony which is well worth seeing there's thousands and thousands of Gannets there that nest there every year it's a well-known Gannett colony throughout the world. So anyway, one day I will take a trip down there and we'll have a little bit of a, a look and um, see what that's all about too. So here we are. Obviously a lot of um, Maori folklore goes on here there's a lot of their understanding which I'm unfamiliar with I should really be familiar with it but unfortunately I'm not I haven't been here for a long time now so I really just do not understand um, what it's about but having said that it would be quite easy for me to pick up the books or what have you and have a bit of a read up the next time I come up to somewhere like this and then um, hopefully I can give you a bit of uh, a better narration of it. 
So, yeah, we've got some guys. I'm not going to go, but there are some guys out here in the cars, way out there, catching fish. Four wheel drives. We've got to get through that water. I'm not going to walk through it today. I don't want wet feet. Hence the reason for the other car just, um, just parking up here. He's probably got some form of gum boots to stop his feet getting wet. But anyway, it's been nice. I'm just out here, sitting down, reflecting again, as I like to do. When I'm feeling like things are getting on top of me, coming to sites like this, where there's a lot of history, there's a lot of mana here, um, it makes me feel good. Even though I'm not Maori, I feel, I feel something of the past and it, I don't know, it's very difficult to explain. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel you want to stay here, just park up for the rest of the day. It's just calm, all day, it's nice and quiet, but there's a lot of meaning here, spiritual meaning too. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to enjoy myself for another half an hour and take it, just try and relax a little bit. I was stressing out that I'm not home. There's various other things happening with me. <clears throat> I've got some health issues that are going on, which I'm having to deal with over here in New Zealand. Um, I try and keep it to myself. People don't like it that I keep it to myself. Well, I don't want it to become rumor and gossip for other people out there, or just more so they getting hold of it. And, yeah, so I'm dealing with my health issues myself. My good lady, well, is in full support and understands where I'm coming from. And um, I believe she is the only one that I really, really need to talk to about it. You know, I'll just go over and I'll grab a little seat and we'll just have a further little chat about it. Hello guys, it's me. I was the one behind the camera earlier on, now I'm in front of it. Anyway, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know how other people react, but, but for me, when I'm feeling down, when there's something getting on top of me, I like to be on my own. I don't want people around me asking me various questions about what's going on in my head or what's going on with, with my health. And the reason I say that is I know that a lot of the time it becomes gossip. That person then tells another person, that person tells another, and before you know it, your life's not private anymore. They know that I've got ongoing issues currently with, um, with a certain thing that I'm having to deal with. I can deal with it, but I deal with it in my way. And my way is keeping quiet, not involving other people, except the one I really, really love, Belle. And when I'm down, I try not to sit around moping. I get angry if I sit down and I start moping. So what I do is I just get up and I disappear to lovely little places like this. It's very quiet, very serene. There is not much foot traffic coming through here. And the weather is absolutely fantastic with a beautiful ocean breeze coming in. When I sit in these little spiritual places, I do get a feeling. I get a feeling that there's hope there. There's hope for everything. Not just my issue, but hope for life. Hope for other people. Because I think that's what it's all about. It's all about life. It's not about death here. It's about life and the meaning of life. So for me, even though I have this problem, I don't know what, to what extent it's going to be eventually, but I'm doing my best to overcome it. I'm trying to do my best, keep myself sane. But what makes it difficult, and you've heard this many times before in my other videos, I'm, I'm not with my family. I'm here on my own. Yes, I'm with friends, I suppose, um, around me, but friends are not the same. It's not the same. You know, sometimes you just don't want to involve your friends. You want to deal with yourself. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there understand that. So anyway, pushing that aside, 
I went through a little bit of stress this morning, one thing and another, and um, I made my, my mind up. I was just going to pop out here and hey, chill, relax, and then um, think about my strategy and how I'm going to overcome this. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I haven't made that decision yet, but um, it's a positive decision. Whether other people like it or not, it's a positive decision. And the reason I say that is, it's a positive decision for me, for me, and it's me that counts, no one else. I'm here alone, and whatever I want to do is I will do for myself. I'm not being selfish and saying I won't do anything for my friends, because if they actually ask me to do something for them, I would do it. I don't care how, how much is going on in, in my head or what's happening to my body. I will still do it to help them. So I hope that one day people will realize that, hey, don't push people. Don't keep pushing them. Do not keep asking them. Do not keep quizzing them about things they don't want to talk about because all they do is they make the issue worse. Leave the person alone. If they say, no, I'm okay on my own. I want to be on my own. Let them go on their own. Let them do it. Just like I'm doing this afternoon. Having a lovely, lovely, relaxing afternoon here. And I'm over my issues already that I had this morning after my visit to the hospital. I'm over all that. So I've just got to look to the next thing. And the day after that. And take each day as it comes. I'm not a miserable guy all the time, but when I'm down, I'm down. And people just need to stay away, leave me alone, let me just be myself. Trust me. Don't distrust me, as I find it does happen. Just let me get on with it. And then um, I will be fine. I'm a positive guy, I'm not a negative guy. But when I do feel that I'm down, I'm down, I go and deal with it myself. So I'm not one for looking after uh, people, getting people to come and look after me and help me and do this. No bullshit. I'll just deal with it myself. So anyway, I'm here enjoying myself today. And what a beautiful place to be able to do that. Sitting right here, right here by the ocean garden. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I'm feeling good and there's people over there flying model aircraft etc having fun so yeah for me I was going to walk over to the ocean but as I said I'm not going to get my feet wet today I'm going to leave that here now I'm not going to make it too long and long-winded and um, yeah I, I just send everybody out there all my really really lovely friends overseas my love happiness and um, hey guys, stay safe. I see things are starting to happen around the world now. Borders are opening. I think New Zealand are going to open with Australian borders. And New Zealand's also opening with the Cook Islands, which is getting closer to the Philippines. It's halfway between here and the Philippines. So they're opening up there. The UK is opening up internationally too, I heard this morning on the news. So there's a lot of positivity out there. It's not negative. You know, negativities they'll always be there. You can't get rid of that. And you cannot stop being uh, people being negative. They can only stop themselves. So when you're positive, hopefully your positivity flows over onto the negative people. But sometimes they are so stubborn, they just don't give a shit anyway. And you'll never get through to those people because they always believe that what they're doing or what they're saying or, or what they believe is right. Well, for me, I'm very open-minded and I look at things in a bigger sense than just a very simple-minded sense. So the same as you guys, if you're down, get out, do something, don't sit at home. It doesn't work. Get out and enjoy. Life is good. Life is good. Anyway, catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for dropping in. Don't forget, for those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the like, comment on this video, make sure you give me the like, a big thumbs up. I don't care if it's the thumbs down because it means nothing, but a thumbs up means, means much to me. Um, and then if you want, you can save this by hitting the bell and hitting all, and you will see um, all my future videos. Anyway guys, thanks for dropping in. 
really appreciate it. I'm fine. I'm okay. I will go home shortly and have a good long chat with my beautiful lady and wee girl over in the Philippines. Take care, guys. Love you all. See ya. Bye-bye.